Durenv is a magic tool for your shell. Started in November 2010 by Jonas Chevalier, it builds on one simple feature, run a script when you enter a directory. Specifically, it'll run the .mvrc file in the current directory or any parent directories. Why is this useful? Well, it lets you do three things. The most obvious is that you can load environment variables for your app. Keeping track of environment variables is a pain, especially across a team. The easiest way to do this is to just put the variable in the .mvrc file, but you can also use a .env file per environment. Because you can load environment variables, this also lets you load secrets for deployment. But the most exciting use of Durenv is to build per project development environments. You see, Durenv has grown to be a bit more than just running a script. There's also a standard library that gets injected into your .mvrc file. It has functions like pathAd, which lets you add local binaries to the current path, or .env, which you guessed it, loads a .env file automatically. But my favorite function is use nix, which automatically loads a nix shell. This means you can package your entire development stack into a nix config, which gets loaded when you enter the directory. Let's say you had a Ruby on Rails project. Instead of installing Ruby, Postgres, Redis, Gems, all from instructions in a long readme, your whole team can install nix and durenv and have everything installed automatically when entering the directory. Not only that, but if you wanted to update the Ruby version, you would commit that to Git inside the Nix config and everyone's shells would update when they pull the repo. If you enjoyed this, check out grok.computer for more software engineering videos.